Okay, so hey there guys, so today's video is going to be another laid back chit chat get ready with me using the Nabla side by side palette because I want to do another look with this palette. I've only done a first impressions look with this palette on my channel. So let's put my hair up and get started because I am getting ready to go to an appointment. I have a good like half hour to do my makeup, which I don't think it's going to take me that long to do my makeup. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I want to do like a cool tone look with this. I primed my eyes with the um, Marc Jacobs primer and then I set them with the Dior powder because for some reason my Wet n Wild powder isn't in front of me right now. And then I just coated my lips with my Dewdrop Lip Oil from ColourPop as usual. What else is new? Um, so for this look, I want to go with some of these like cool tone shades here. So that's what we're going to do today. So for the um, crease shade, I'm going to go in with this matte gray shade. Do I want to do that? Yes, I do. And it's called Cubism. And we're going to start out with that. And I'm just going to tighten that and put that in my crease. I don't know how pigmented this is. I haven't used these cool tone shades yet. Like these grayish tones. And obviously I wanted to test them out for you guys to give you guys a thorough review on this palette because I'm going to be doing my... Oh my god, that is so pigmented. Holy crapiolis. Let me blend that out. <laughs> oh my god, I always put on way too much when I use gray. This is why I don't use gray anymore. That is a lot. Okay. Um, so yeah, I am like nearing my rank uh that that time where I rank the palettes that I have tried this year I cannot believe June is almost over honestly this year has flashed by so quickly I really cannot believe it's almost the end of June already like we're halfway through the year already like maybe because last year just felt like it dragged on forever I mean yeah some days went by really fast but it just felt like last year was so never-ending for a lot of people that, like, this year, since, like, things are, like, slowly getting back to normal, some type of normalcy, I really hate saying that because, yes, of, like, we need to get back to normal at some point, but people need to understand that the pandemic isn't over. And I keep on seeing posts, even from one of my friends that I hung out with yesterday, she was like, our first um, sushi time post-pandemic, but the pandemic hasn't went away. We've just hit a huge milestone. It doesn't mean it's over. Um, yes, I don't have anything to worry about right now, and neither does my family because we all are vaccinated. And since I had COVID a couple months ago, I have my own natural immunity plus I'm vaccinated so I'm okay for now but that doesn't mean we can't get reinfected but if we ever did none of us would have a I would have an even more mild case than I did before but I would still have to quarantine and stay home for 10 days if I did so even though they're not requiring requiring um fully vaccinated people to wear masks um, we can still transfer and infect somebody, so I don't really understand why they would remove it, but at the same time, it's like, I feel like places just don't know what to do right now with their mask policies, because, like, some places you don't have to wear it, some places you do, and I felt like this would cause even more confusion to people, because in my mall... And most malls in my in my state, in New York, they are still enforcing the mask mandate for employees, but most customers just don't, most customers don't have to follow it anymore, but the employees still have to wear them. And that's where, like, the redundancy comes in. God, the sky is so dark. I'm probably going to be going out where it's fucking pouring rain. Okay, and then for my defining shade, I'm going to go into this shade called Clan. 
um but it's just causing like a lot of confusion like i haven't seen anyone like really like flip out about it which is good like most people like understand it at this point and what i don't understand is the people that wear the mask and then they start complaining about it because they're not fully vaccinated and it's like the they're like well it doesn't protect me completely so then they'll just skip getting vaccinated altogether i'm like that's not gonna help anyone and it's not gonna help you either because then you're still prone to getting infected even more so than if you're not protected by having a vaccine so i don't really get their mentality it's like i understand of course like if you have medical problems or if you have certain conditions where you can't get vaccinated, or if you have a severe um, medical illness, or if you have cancer, I totally obviously understand why they can't get vaccinated, but there shouldn't be any reason for people that are still complaining about wearing masks to not get vaccinated. Then you don't have to wear a mask anymore. Like, I don't understand. Like, if you want to do more things and have more freedom, then get vaccinated. So... I don't really understand, but that's just me. So anyway, mall employees are supposed to still wear it right now. So I'm still wearing one at work, but again, it's like redundant for me because I'm just getting upset at this point because it's unfair for the people that do their duty and their job and also to keep themselves healthy and safe, which is mostly why they're doing it. I don't care if you're doing it for a selfish reason. Just get freaking vaccinated. Like, I don't need to know the reason why you're doing it. <laughs> you're doing it to protect yourself. If it's just to protect yourself, then yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I don't I don't care what the reason is for you to get it. Just get it, you know? Okay, and then for... Um, I mean, this is already deep, but I kind of want to play with a tiny bit of the black. So I'm going to go in with the shade Untitled. And I'm just going to put that a little bit on the outer corners. Not too much because these mattes are so nice. But they're also pretty pigmented. But I need to deepen up the outer corners a bit. So anyway... Um, they are requiring employees to wear them, but for customers, it's optional. And I'm just like, that is totally redundant at this point. Most places like Target and Costco aren't making, um, fully vaccinated employees wear masks anymore. Like, for most, like, job establishments, you would rely on the company to you know, ask their associates and stuff if they're fully vaccinated because I think companies are allowed to do that. It's when you question the customer that you can't, um, the customer obviously has more rights because of, I don't know if it's, it's not HIPAA, I forget what it is, but like you can't ask a customer if they're fully vaccinated. So, I mean, I wish you could, you could, ask people to show like a vaccination card because some people of course they're saying that they're relying on the honor system but some people are walking around because they think you know um since more people are fully vaccinated then they don't have to wear one anymore if they're not vaccinated and that's the thing that frustrates me too but at the same time they're only going to infect themselves if they don't protect themselves with a mask or if they don't get vaccinated. So it's like, it's very, it's even more complicated now because we are getting closer to, you know, actually like coming to some uh, plateau and turning point, but it's still hard to convince people to go get vaccinated. I'm not trying to convince you. I just recommend that you do. But I'm not pushing you to, but it would be really stupid if you didn't. That's all I have to say. I'm not going to hide my feelings about it. So I'm just going to apply my pigment primer and then we'll jump into the lid okay, shade. And now for the lid shade, I'm going to go into this like silvery color, which is called Love Ritual. It looks so damn pretty. It's not just like a typical 
silver. It's kind of like a taupey silver shade. And I'm going to use that on. Oh my god, that's so pretty on my lid. That's really pretty. But yeah, basically, I've never had a problem wearing masks. I'm a very avid mask wearer. It doesn't bother me whatsoever, and it shouldn't bother anyone because it doesn't just protect other people. It protects yourself, too. Like, even though I ended up getting COVID anyway, I'm still wearing my mask and doing what I'm supposed to do. The thing that frustrates me is that we still have to wear masks for the people that aren't fully vaccinated. And that's what upsets me because if they don't get fully vaccinated, they're not doing what they need to do to, you know, um, for us to achieve herd immunity at some point. And I understand, of course, like I should be protecting people. But if you decide to not get vaccinated, it is annoying for the people that do their duty and go get vaccinated and they still have to wear masks for people that won't get vaccinated. That's the thing that like annoys me about it. Because it's like, if I'm getting fully vaccinated and I do what I need to do, then why don't other people do the same thing? Because they're like, you know, it doesn't prevent it fully. They think of all these like ridiculous conspiracy theories and it's like it's just ridiculous at this point okay and then for my brow highlight I'm just gonna go into the usual shade that I use in this palette which is called rarity and I'm going to put that on my brow bone my throat gets so dry talking these days like So I'm waiting for one more package from ColourPop so I can finally do my haul video. I've just been filming like these looks with these newer palettes that I've gotten. But I did order one one more thing from ColourPop. I mean a couple more things but honestly it's only like four products. I ordered the new Soul Body Foundation because you guys know I have to try like every foundation that ColourPop comes out with and I was just really intrigued on trying it so I ordered that and then I just ordered three shades of their new neon liners like the waterline liners and that's it and for some reason it still hasn't shipped yet but also my email is broken and it's been broken for almost a week and I still haven't had the time to call them yet um, because I have an AOL email. I know I'm a dinosaur and I live in the Stone Age, but I just still never got around to changing my email. I'm just like so lazy about it. But I still haven't called them yet. So I really need to do that because I have a few emails that I'm waiting on that I have to check. So just have not set aside the time to do that yet and I really need to. Okay, so that's it for that as of right now, and I'm just going to do primer in a minute. Okay, so I went ahead and primed my face with the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Cucumber, and then I just used my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Primer. <clears throat> now I'm going to use a couple of Bite products today because I want to use a couple of the products that I have. So I'm going to use the Bite Beauty Change Maker Foundation. This was one of the foundations that I gold myself to use up this year. I did do a pretty good job with foundations. I did use up two foundations this year, which I was pretty surprised that I even did use up foundation this year because honestly, you know, since we were wearing masks and everything, like we didn't really feel like wearing too much foundation, but I still wore foundation pretty much every day or I wore a tinted moisturizer a lot more, obviously. But this is a foundation, but it I kind of consider it a tinted moisturizer because it basically acts like a tinted moisturizer. It doesn't really have the coverage of a foundation. But I don't know why this foundation got so much hate because I love it. So I've always loved this foundation and I say that every single time I use it, but I really do love it. So um, And yeah, it's like on and off raining today, so that's pretty annoying too. Oh, I forgot I have to bring, like, candy over for Josh, too, so I have to remember to switch my bag over because since it's raining, I don't want to use this bag that I'm using. Okay. 
Um, so I forgot what I was talking about. I'm kind of like in the zone getting ready because, you know, I always end up running late for everything. But I just want to talk about my makeup right now. Um, so yeah, I'm waiting for that. Um, and then for my concealer, I'm going to use the Ilia concealer in the shade... What is this again? Mallow, I think. And, you know, like, one of those articles recently came out about how, like, there's, like, more toxic makeup on the market and all that jazz. Um, and the few brands that were on the list that are considered non-toxic makeup brands are Bite, Ilia, and Tarte. So... My Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation, my Bite Beauty Change Maker, and like the Ilia Concealer are like good options for me to use. So that's why I've been kind of like whipping them out and using them more often. But I just think that's so shady, like, and I don't know why they still haven't done anything about it, so. And the fact that they can get away with it because they, like, hide it with other ingredients is just, like, so fucking shady to me. But, you know, it's been going on for a while, so. I've known this for a while, but you tend to forget about these things when you're a daily makeup wearer like me, so. But I really need to pay more attention to them. This concealer is really nice, though. It's kind of grown on me since I've gotten it. I do need to grab my face powder, though. I have to remember not to set my face right now because I want to use my liquid blush today because every time I use it, I keep on setting my face and I feel like it doesn't perform the way I want it to um, since I keep on forgetting not to set my face every time I use it. So I need to really do that and not do that this time. So, yeah. I'm going to finish blending that out off ca off camera. Oh my god, off camera. Now I'm going to go in with liner and I'm going to use the ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie liner in the shade. I always forget the name of this. It's the brown one. It's not even available anymore anyway, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and at least I think that collection isn't available anymore. I've been so spoiled by the Marc Jacobs liners that this one's, like, really poking my waterline. Not really feeling that too much. It's, like, very pointy. Kind of trying to dull it a little bit so it's not as pointy. I hope this is not how the, um liners are for the new neon ones that I ordered because that's why like I don't really love ColourPop's liners. I know a lot of people love their liners especially people that don't really love them as a whole brand but I've never really loved their liners um because they're very pokey on the waterline but this one's very pigmented so it makes up for it. It just, like, hurts my waterline. So it's, just, like, not very fun. I'm not going to prime my lashes today because the primer that I have is pretty old at this point. So I'm not going to use it today. I'm just going to go in straight in with mascara. I need to get a new lash primer. I'm going to use the Bite Beauty Upswing. I was either going to use this or the Ilia one because I wanted to use both one of those today. But I'm just going to use this. I'm going to be putting myself on a no-buy for mascaras, highlighters, and blushes for now. And also, pretty much a no-buy in general. Because I have just bought, honestly, even though, like, I kind of wanted to slow down with makeup this year. I think I've bought more makeup at this point this year than I had last year. Like, it's, it's kind of getting, like, ridiculous at this point, so I'm just going to slow down for now. Um, there are only a few brands on my list that I would still like to try this year. But other than that, I'm not going to, like, go ham and buy everything 
that I see. I'm only going to buy the things that I really want and are still on my wish list. But I really need to slow down with makeup buying right now, especially that I'm going to get a car within the next month that I just thought it would it was time for me to slow down a little bit. So I'm just applying my Lash Discovery Mascara on my bottom lashes. Okay, and then I'm just going to do my inner corners. I use the same inner corner highlight in here, but it's such a gorgeous shade. Oh my god, I hope I'm not getting mascara on. My lower lashes, I mean underneath my eyes. I'm going to use the um, Ray of Light color, which is the shade that I always use to put on my under eyes. Because it's such, I mean under eyes, my inner corners. But it's such a beautiful shade and I think I just used it yesterday so I don't have to clean off my brush. So yeah, I'm not going to be getting, I don't really like want to talk about Liz and stuff right now. It's just going to upset me because at this point it's been very difficult to organize things for some way to memorialize her and it's getting very frustrating. Um, and I also am working more days this week so I don't have as much time to see Josh and it really upsets me when I don't see him that much right now because obviously I still really need him right now. I am seeing him later today, and I'm seeing him tomorrow, but then I have to work Thursday and Saturday, so it kind of sucks. And I already didn't see him for the past three days because I was working. But I did see one of my closest friends yesterday, um, and she really helped me feel better. I really love her, and I hadn't seen her in a while, so I was glad to see her yesterday, too. Okay, so let me just grab the bronzer I want to use. Okay, and then for bronzer, I'm going to use my Private Party Bronzer from ColourPop. I've been trying to hit pan on this for so long, but this bronzer just lasts forever. And since it's so pigmented, I don't really need to use too much. So that's why it's been taking me longer to use this guy up. Since I stopped using my Physician's Formula bronzer, I was trying to use the Milani bronzer more regularly and this one, but... This just has a ton of, ColourPop products have a ton of product in them, or they used to. I mean, like, people are getting really upset with the direction that they're going in right now because they're not the same brand anymore than they were. Like, the, the Soul Body Foundation, that made sense for them. and But, like, every single launch is, like, the good launches are always, you know, outshined by all the freaking crap that they push out. That it's just, like, not fun anymore. Like, people are getting really annoyed at ColourPop right now. And so am I. I'm like, this is, like, too much. Okay, and then for my blush, like I said, I was going to use a liquid blush. So I'm going to go in with my um, Bite Beauty Whipped Blush. And why can't I remember the shade of this? I can't remember the shade name, but I'll put it in the description box below if you guys are interested. Um, so I'm just going to take that. Oh my god, it probably took way too much. I never know how to apply liquid blush. And I'm just going to use my sponge and I'm going to blend that. And then I'm just going to use my fingers and kind of try to blend this as best I can because I feel like I used too much. I don't know. I'm not really a huge fan of liquid blushes, to be honest. I prefer cream blushes over liquid blushes but I like I put even more on this side oh my god that is like too much Caitlin and then I still have so much on my hand my bad but this does sheer out pretty well so it's not like too bad and I think it definitely went better on my skin without setting it but I still feel like it skips a little bit you know what I mean and it doesn't really mesh in with my skin that well I don't know I'm not like a huge fan of 
liquid blushes. They're just like not my vibe. I don't really love them. But it feels so nice on the skin. It's very, very cooling. But as I try to apply more, I feel like it just sits there on my skin. I don't know. It's pretty, but I'm not like completely obsessed with liquid blush. But I like it. It does the job. And I feel like it feels really nice on my skin. And I'm actually using a lot of brands that are like non-toxic beauty brands today. Like Bite, Tarte, well Bite, Ilia. And then my highlighter is also a completely toxic free brand which is Aether Beauty. Um, so I'm going to be using this too. I didn't even realize that. That's just how my makeup planning worked out today. Um, so I'm going to use the Aether Beauty Pure Diamond Dust Highlighter. I just wanted to use this one again today because I freaking love it. I've been using pretty much my newer highlighters this whole week. Um, but this one is just so stunning on the skin, so I wanted to use that today. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh, that is stunning. Sometimes I apply my highlight like way too thick though. I need to stop going super ham on my highlighter. Okay, and that's pretty much it for the face. Um, and then I'm just going to set my face with my ColourPop setting spray. And then for lips, and then I have to go, is Max Cream Sheen Lipstick and Among the Fly Fireflies. So I'm just going to apply that. I don't know this this lipstick is kind of getting old too at this point so i'm probably gonna have to declutter this one too but we might as well wear it one more time yeah it smells pretty old And that's pretty much it, you guys. Okay, guys, so here is the finished look. Here are the eyes, the cheeks, and the lips. I love you guys. I really have to go, so please like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at cpw819, and check out my Poshmark at the same handle, which is cpw819. I also wore my Coca-Cola shirt from Lucky that I got recently. I've been loving the Nabla palette. It's beautiful, and I really love how this makeup look turned out. The blush is the only thing that I'm not crazy about. I'm not sure about these liquid blushes still, but I like it for a nice wash of color. And yeah, I love the the foundation and the concealer. They're all regular products that I normally use. I hope you guys enjoyed this cool tone look from Nabla. I really love it. So yeah, bye.